Hi, uh, today we're going to go over how to use the custom tile data uh, in Godot 4.0. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is get a tile map set up with a tile set. Uh, I went ahead and set some up with just some basic tiles. Uh, in order to use custom data, we're actually going to need to uh, modify the, go to the tile set on the, on the inspector. And we're going to go to custom data layers, and we're actually going to add a custom data layer to, to do anything with. Uh, so let's just go ahead and set this as test data, as the layer name. And as an example, I'm just going to set this up as a string. Uh, so this just adds a single custom data field called test data with a type of string. You can add additional layers if you want. Uh, test number, I'll set that to an int. Uh, and then to actually set the data, the data is set within a tile set for each individual tile. Uh, it's not per cell in the tile map, but it's per tile in the tile set, if that makes sense. Uh, so in order to set the custom data for each tile, uh, you go into the tile set down at the bottom, uh, pick the tile you want to set the data for, and then you go under the custom data field here, and then for each of the layers, you have custom layer zero, which is test data. So I'm gonna just do uh, foo, and then for this number, I want to set this to 42. In addition to studying the tile data one by one, you can also paint the values uh, by selecting the paintbrush here. Go to property, select property editor and pick a test data. I want to do uh, bar for an example here. And so whichever tiles you click on now show bar as the value. Uh, you can do the same thing with test number, set it to, I don't know, 13. Uh, and then every tile you click will have 13 set as the value. This just lets you set the same value for a bunch of different squares at one time. Um, there does currently appear to be a bug in the tile set data to where I actually had to reload this project in order for these test num the paint properties to show up properly. Uh, if, for example, I add a third element of, uh, say, the name of bar and just some random type, if I go to that now, it'll actually show up as just null and I can't set it with paint. Uh, I can still set it via the individual tiles, it's just the paint interface that doesn't work. Uh, and to fix that, I just reloaded the project. Uh, you may be able to reload something smaller, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tested that yet. Uh, and now to, to use this custom data, you actually need to go into the GD script. Uh, and this is, I set this up uh, just as an example here. Uh, so we have custom test data, which you look, if you look up the get cell tile data, just takes a layer and a position on the tile map to look up the data for. Uh, and I just picked cell zero just to make this simpler. Uh, and then tile data get custom data, uh, and you pass in the tile layer name. So in this case, I want to do test data. And then let's see. Test data equals that. Ver test number equals tile data dot get custom data. Test number. And I'm just going to go ahead and print I'm just going to go ahead and print out the values as an example. And then I'm just going to essentially print this uh, custom data test as we start up the, as we start up the scene. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the map, and because we need to actually set a tile that has data, I'm going to go to Tile Map Edit, pick the tile that has the data, and put it in that first field. And then when I run the run the game, you can see the output had foo and test number 42. Um, that's mostly it. Um, hopefully the paint feature will be working again soon. Uh, this is the right as uh, Godot 4 Beta 3 came out, so it might be a regression there. I believe it was working in one of the previous betas. Uh, but it is a, I think it's a very nice feature. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.